Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create this animated chat in Canva and you can follow this tutorial if you have a free account or a pro account and I'm also going to give you a free template so you can start creating this animation right away. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. For this animation, you can create your design from scratch or use a template. So I will show you quickly how to create a document in Canva. You will go to the video section, I'm already there, and then select the format that you prefer. I'm gonna use mobile video, create blank. From here, you can start designing your chat mockup from scratch using elements or using photos. If you want to use a template available in Canva, you can search for chat and here you will find some templates that you might find useful to create your animation. If you want to use the same template that I'll be using in today's tutorial, the link is in the description and it is free to use. So let me go to the template and we're gonna start creating our animation. Here I want to give you a tip, this one is very important and it is to design the last scene of your animation. So in this case I want my animation to have five messages in total and I design it first because I want to make sure that all the messages fit into my phone screen. So I already have the final outcome and we're gonna start building the animation backwards. You will see and it is pretty easy. Okay so in this template I applied some animations to the messages. So I will start by removing these animations. I'm gonna select all of these elements, then hold shift and click on the phone to unselect it. We want to have only these elements selected. Go to animate and remove animation. Now we're gonna set the duration for this scene and I'm gonna do it by clicking on edit timing and move the slider to the left until you see 1.5 seconds in this little box. From here we are going to duplicate the page and then position yourself on page number two. We're gonna add an animation to these three emojis so I'm selecting them and then holding shift and clicking I'm gonna unselect the phone and this box that is behind the emojis. Having only the emojis selected I will go to animate and add the pop animation. This is just to add a little animation to the emojis as if somebody was typing it on this phone. Now I'm gonna position myself on page one and delete the emojis. Now I'm gonna select the message that is below, making sure that I'm selecting the text box, the name, and this profile picture and select the phone and I'm gonna add an animation so this message comes from below so this message moves down up <laughs> upwards okay we're gonna add an animation to make this message appears upwards so go to animate select rise and apply only on enter now Select page number one, duplicate and position yourself on page one. Now select the message that is at the bottom of the phone and delete it. So just these elements, we're gonna delete them. Now we're gonna follow the same process for this message right here. Gonna select these items and select the phone, animate. We're gonna add the animation rise again only on enter and that's it. Now let's duplicate the page and go to page number one. This time we're gonna do a different step. So we're gonna duplicate this text box and we're gonna position the text box right below because we're gonna create the animation as if somebody was typing a message. So I want to create that scene when somebody was typing this message. So I'm gonna copy this message, Ctrl C, 
and then Control V. Now I can delete this message right here and let's add the animation to this text box. So select it, go to animate and select type writer. Make sure that you select on enter and there you have, you created your animation as if somebody was typing a message. We're gonna do another different step. So go to edit timing and we're gonna reduce the timing to just one second. Okay, once we have this ready, let's duplicate the page again. Position yourself on page one, delete the text box below and let's adjust the timing again to 1.5. And before we continue with the rest of the tutorial, I wanted to mention that if you want to access free and pro templates that are very trendy, you can follow my Canva profile. I'm gonna leave you guys the link in the description. And now let's continue with the tutorial. Now let's select this message, add again the rise animation on enter, Duplicate the page, go to page number one, delete this message and apply the animation on the second message. Animate, rise, on enter. This time we're gonna do the different step so we can add the typing animation below. So duplicate the page. Remember that when we add the typewriter animation, we're going to adjust the duration of this scene to just one second, just to make this part of the animation faster, which is going to make the animation more entertaining. So I'm going to duplicate this text box. I'm usually selecting the text box that is aligned to the left because this is the right alignment that I want to use for the text below position the text to front and then let's copy this text and paste it in here. Now we can delete this message and add the animation to this text box. So go to animate, typewriter, on enter. Now let's change the timing to one second and we're going to create the last part of the animation. So Select page number one, duplicate, go to page one, delete this text box and apply the animation on this message. Unselect the phone, animate and rise on enter. I'm just going to stop a second here because I know that I'm going fast. So if you are trying to follow this tutorial and you feel that I'm going fast, you can always pause the tutorial at any point, do the changes and then come back to the tutorial and hit play. Now that we have applied the animation to the first message, we're going to stop here and then we're going to double check if we applied the animations correctly to every page. So I like to go with this guide and check every single page because as we are doing the same process again and again, sometimes it's easy to forget one animation or maybe apply the animation as both. Like for example, let me just show you. You see that we applied rise on enter. Sometimes it's easy to forget to select on enter and then you have both, which is going to make the animation look a little weird. So selecting only on enter is going to make the animation look flawless. Okay, so we have the animation ready and now I'm gonna show you how to download it. Let's go to the navigation bar on top and select share. Go to download. From here, if you want, you can leave it as mp4 or you can select gif if you want. Leave all pages selected and hit download. Canva is evolving all the time. They are adding buttons and features everywhere. So if you see something new on your screen or something different on my screen, don't worry, you can always go back to our channel and see if we have a tutorial talking about new features or maybe another tutorial talking about animations. And like this, you keep yourself updated on the newest features in Canva.
Now, if you want to learn how to edit videos with transitions, sound effects and music, you need to watch this tutorial right here. And if you want to have access to trendy templates, don't forget to follow my Canva profile. I leave you the link right here. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!